I'm Ann Trujillo with your Denver 7 update. Workers at Denver's popular Little Man ice cream shop say they're being harassed by their customers. The reason? The customers don't want to wear a mask. Here's Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez. Driving down 16th Street, a giant milk jug demands your attention. Double a cookie monster? Yeah. yeah, in a cup for you. The treats inside aren't so bad either. It's nostalgia meets community meets really good ice cream. It's a place to gather. But this ice cream hotspot hasn't been spared from the controversy over mask wearing during this pandemic. 99% of our community is amazing and has been um, helpful and supportive in all of what we tried to do with COVID. The 1% has been, you know, very vocal and direct about things. Vocal is just half of it. Little man ice cream owner Paul Tamburillo posted to Facebook saying in one instance, a customer spat on an employee. What comes to mind is just like disrespect. Another coughed on the counter and in the direction of workers, many who are teenagers, all because they didn't want to wear a mask. I feel really bad for them, you know, because we've all had jobs. I I started working when I was 14. You know, I've had people be rude to me and it's, it makes you not want to work. It makes you not want to work with the public. Some people don't want to wear it. Some people do. I think we've been getting a lot of information from everywhere. And so people are kind of, they think that they're entitled to do whatever they kind of want to. Sir, I'm sorry. We are requiring masks that you don't have to hold up. Do you have a mask on you? Denver 7 has reported on a person's decision to not wear a mask, many insisting it infringes on their personal freedom. They're told to do X, Y, Z when, you know, they may not want to, and this is America, last I heard. Even Governor Polis knows too many people see this measure as political. This is not a uh, ideological or partisan thing. It's a science thing. If you're going to come and get ice cream from a place that asks you to, then just do it. The owner of the ice cream shop says those who choose not to wear a mask can pick up a pint somewhere else. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7. And Colorado reported another 314 cases of coronavirus today, and that puts us at more than 33,000 overall. 1,520 people have died, and hospitals are still calm for the most part. 237 beds are occupied. Only one facility in our state says it is short on PPE. The testing site at Pepsi Center will be able to stay open seven days a week thanks to donations from the state. The city says tests were low because of the surge of cases in states like Arizona. LabCorp, which runs the site at Pepsi Center, tells us they are good on overall supply, but that high demand in one place can create temporary shortages in another. Thanks for watching this Denver 7 update. Make sure to download the Denver 7 app for your smartphone to get breaking news and alerts around the clock. I'm Andrew Heal.